What's going on, everybody? I got a new clock from my stepdad. It's like a little imitation neon with the LED strip. I love it, though. Um, anyway, here's the Tacoma. I haven't done any work to it, but uh, parts are starting to roll in, so I figured I'd do a little parts haul. Um, I'm going to do two parts, haul, parts hauls just so I can make some content for you guys. And I figured you guys, you guys would want to see the parts anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Pretty excited. Also, I changed the suspension a little bit. So I know I said I was going to keep running. Oop, just got a sneak peek of the star of the show. But I know I said I was going to keep running my rough country stuff, but I decided to step it up a small notch. Um, it's still considered entry level suspension. Uh, what I'm going to go with, but it's it'll be better than. Uh, the rough country setup so here i decided to go with the dobinsons i didn't know if any other like legitimate companies offered a 3.5 inch lift but this is a dobinson setup and it claims 3.5 uh, with zero pounds of extra weight to 220 pounds so the springs look a lot longer than the rough country so I don't know if it's more of a progressive spring and it's gonna compress more than the rough countries did when I set the, the weight of the truck on them. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And then I made a short of this, but if you didn't watch the short on my YouTube channel, my Tundra rack came in. So this is a modified rack from a Toyota Tundra. It's been shortened and this is the factory Tundra, uh, outer tie rod, inner tie rod, and then the steering arm. I think that's what that's called. So yeah, that'll beef up the front quite a bit. And then these are the Warfab spindle gussets. So I will be welding these on myself. This is a piece of fucking flooring. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> and then steel braided brake lines. These are the, f is this the front? I think these are the fronts. And then I have the rears on the way. They were back ordered. I bought these because when I had my G-Wagon on the channel, that was on 34s. Um, like a year ago, I did steel braided brake lines and it made a huge improvement uh, with braking feel and they just weren't spongy and it definitely stopped better as well. I think that has to do with the rubber expanding on the stock lines and then these don't get, have as much give for expansion when you put the pressure through. So I guess that's why they work better, but I do like them. So I bought them for the Tacoma. Um... Do I have any other smaller things I can show you before we jump to the main? I don't think so. So here it is. This is just delivered today. This is the 8.75 rear end from a manual transmission Tacoma. I have an SR5, so mine came with the, the uh, 8 inch that the previous generation Tacomas had. This is the 8.75, which comes in the... TRD off-road and pro and also all manual transmission Tacomas. The difference with this one is it's an open 8.75, which is like two grand cheaper than the TRD off-road or pros. This is just from a base model uh, manual transmission Tacoma. And I've already ordered the ECGS uh, Harup E-Locker and 529 gears for it. So I'm pretty much just going to pull that off and then wait for the ECGS stuff to come and then I'll ship that to them because it's like a core exchange program. So yeah, I was pretty excited when the freight truck showed up today and lopped that off the back end of it. Super excited to get that on and get some more beef in the rear. It's a little crusty, but just take a wire wheel to it before I send it off to ECGS. Um, I don't think there's no structural damage to it. It's just uh surface rust it looks like so yeah I'll just take a wire wheel to it should be good to go it might ding me for some uh some core credit return but that's okay we can deal with that so yeah parts are starting to come in I'm getting pretty excited um it'll probably be another two weeks before I start working on it just waiting for all the parts to come in so yeah, pretty stoked. Oh, I got this Badlands Jack too. It dwarfs this uh, old Pittsburgh one. Is this a Pittsburgh one? Yeah, Pittsburgh. 
the low profile one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna keep this video short. Tacoma is still safe, resting inside. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't mention this either, I don't think, but uh, I have SPC uppers coming. Um, so my plan is to max the caster out on the lower control arm, which will bring that wheel forward as much as possible. On the SPCs, I'm gonna, it's technically minimizing uh, the caster from the upper control arm, but that's also gonna help push the wheel forward. So once I get the SPCs here and I do my adjustments and put the, um, the cam tab deletes on the lower control arm, because if you remember in my last video, I said I have BTF fab high caster lowers coming. So once those are here and I put my adjustments in and get the tire as forward as possible, I can start doing my tubbing because I don't want to start tubbing anything until I have all the geometry set how it's going to be because it, it doesn't make sense really to, to start cutting until you know where the wheel or where the tire is going to hit. So yeah, I figured I'd throw that in there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do another parts haul when I get another load of parts in. And then, um, so yeah, after one more parts haul video, we will start actually working on this. I've been, <laughs> luckily I've had house projects to keep me busy because I'd be going insane waiting for these parts. I'm so stoked to get this out on the road, but yeah, um, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you're excited. I know I'm getting antsy, so I will uh, pick this up in the next one and uh, I'll let you guys know when more parts arrive.